We're at the site of the ancient Battle of Marathon, an epic battle fought in 490 BC where a relatively small force of Athenians repelled a numerically superior invasion force from Persia. Behind us is a modern column which has been erected to commemorate the spot of an ancient Athenian tropion or victory monument. Generally, tropia were simply suits of armor hanged on a tree with an inscription, but the Athenians erected a column, which this column is based upon to commemorate their victory. Unfortunately, modern vegetation and changes in terrain do not allow us to really conceive exactly how this battle was fought, but let's try to lay out the landscape a little. Beyond this line of trees is a row of low hills. Athens is that direction, 26.2 miles. To my left was a marsh at the base of the hills extending to the sea, and the seashore is immediately behind us. It would have been closer antiquity than it is today. When the Athenians heard that a Persian naval expedition had dropped off a land force of thousands, Rada says tens or hundreds of thousands, they hurriedly raced about 10,000 of their own troops to try to hold them back so they could not invade Athens by land. With some of their Plataean allies, they set up a camp on this range of low hills while the Persians kept their camp on the plain next to where their ships were beached. After several days standing off facing each other, a battle was finally arranged. The Athenians did not want to come down into the plain where the Persians could take advantage of their larger numbers. So instead, they kept their troops up here somewhere on the lower levels of the hills, anchoring their left side against the swamp, protecting them on that side. They established a strategy which was used again and again in antiquity of a faint retreat by keeping the center of their line weak and strengthening their wings or flanks. They were allowed or able to stage what seemed like a retreat where their center dropped back fooling the enemy into thinking they were retreating. And so the Persians rushed in to follow the center as it withdrew up the hill, allowing the stronger Athenian wings to attack the Persians on the side. This pincher movement completely routed and disheartened the Persians, driving them back to the sea where they fled by ship. According to Herodotus, whose numbers in this case have been corroborated by an inscription found at the Athenian burial mound, 6,400 Persians lost their lives, whereas only 192 Athenians fell. They were buried nearby in a special mound and commemorated. This battle held back the Persian threat for another 10 years. The, Spart the Persians would not return until 480, another epic battle, Thermopylae followed by Salamis followed by Plataea.